Hey everyone, welcome back to Figure Fantasy. Sorry for being away for a while. Um, haven't been well. Um, I'm actually okay already, but uh, kind of feeling, you know, weak still after having recovered from the flu. So we're here to discuss energy team. So the energy team that I am discussing would look like this. I already had... Uh, had uh, what they call this had an opportunity to test run this team for uh, pv pv pvp so I, I think this team would be ideal for pvp it actually has a lot of potential and i'm going through the lineup first so this is the lineup that is um called a energy team composition so all five of them you have I have here um Erixia, I have here Zephyr, I have here Astaroth, you have Yuna, and you have Lubu at the back. So every one of them can generate either energy for themselves or for the team. So before we proceed to this one, let's let let me just uh, take uh take you guys to the skills that um they are going to generate energy for you. Okay, so first and foremost, let's uh, go out of this. Um, the first one is very obvious. You're gonna have to have Zephyr there if you wanna. If you're gonna have an energy team, Zephyr is really a must because, again, for even for her for her ultimate, she she gives um, energy. For her passive as well, very very good. You know, she is all in one. She's your healer for the team. She is also a very very impressive um, buffer or support that she gives energy to. So, what can I say more about Zephyr? I don't think I can say more about Zephyr. But again, she's your main um, character or figure for your. Uh, energy team next would be her partner in crime would be Erixia. So Erixia, you will be getting her for this one not this one um there is a chance up to restore certain amounts of energy for her to supports allies and yeah this is a 50 percent to restore 10 energy and supports all allies defense boost by 45 and also grants them energy 20% chance energy to restore energy when attacked so a lot of things to trigger for Erixia. so both of them really complement the survivability of your team plus they give a lot of energy that is why um, the tandem is very very popular in terms of teams in PvP so next is um are going to be Lubu. Lubu, I've got my eye on him for quite a while in terms of his kit. Um, fast attack, also fast generation of energy. Um, for his basic attack, he can even um, restore energy uh, here. So, so self-sustaining um, energy uh, energy regeneration and also ally ally triggered energy. So I don't know what that means. Uh, sorry, I know uh, it, it's kind of a bit confusing. But as you can see here in his passive, every time an ally unleashes the ultimate, deals damage to all enemies. So um, uh, then restores five energy when the effect is triggered. Also triggers the figurine, unleashes the ultimate, restores five energy for itself and the attacker um, as well. So again. Um, provides energy for self provides energy for allies um, that is why he's going to be one of the key components here all the, the the first three of them so next we're proceeding to Yuna Yuna here is more or less um, having a, a small role in terms of uh, energy boosting so as you can see here, for Yuna, self-sustaining energy. I'm gonna look for it first. I forgot where it is. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Boost damage by 10% if an enemy is defeated. Restores 30 
extra energy and extends the duration of mushroom time state for another five seconds. Okay, so that is it. That is why she's here. So she, she restores energy for herself as well when um, the enemy is defeated. So um, it's good that she has a good burst damage. That is why she can kill off um, enemy after enemy as long as she survives. So again, that is why Zephyr and Erixia is there to, to provide support and healing. And the last one... That if that you want to consider in this team would be Astaroth. Um, Astaroth really would shine in this team definitely because his ultimate um, is going to be needing energy, so loses a certain amount of energy every second, and once his energy hits zero, he transforms back into his human form. So as much as possible, you feed him energy so that he extends this period. And also, he also restores 10 energy upon hitting an enemy for himself. He's actually a good tank, depending on the scenario and also the team that he's in. For my end, he's only at one pink star, so I'm not sure I'm going to make use of him that much in PvP. But if I do level him up in the future, I guess he will be a solid tank uh, on this um, energy-based team. So, and your sixth man or sixth woman definitely is going to be Ember Irens. So, she will be your sixth. You can actually swap her in and swap out Erixia. You put her at the back of Astaroth, only the two of them in one lane. Then, you know, she can be also be... Uh, a good generator for what do you call this for energy for Astaroth. So as you can see, see the healing lasts for 10 seconds. Also, no, not that's not it. Grand seed of healing lasts for eight seconds. Blah blah. Same time healing. Then this one. Uh, okay, here it is. Uh, attacks all enemies in the same line. Certain percentage of the damage dealt will be covered to help converted to health for teammates with the seed of healing so at level two restores 30 energy for the teammate with the seed of healing so that is why I was, I was referring to this one because this passive gives the seed of healing so again um, additional 30 energy for Astaroth if only two of them are in the same lane so again you can swap her in put uh, put Erixia out then you could have a very very impressive team if you're gonna if you want to go more defensive you could probably take out either yuna or lubu then put in and you have three support there zephyr erixia and erens so that is that is my energy team guys i'm sorry for you know not uh not really being a hundred percent in this video i'd like to put this out because i've done a lot of you know i've done play testing with this lineup and i'm very excited to show you this um let's go to pvp and uh, i'll show you a sample of um of a match i was actually winning the earlier stages but i realized that some of my units are under leveled especially astaroth and yuna and lubu so more or less, um, I hope I can do this justice. Um, let's do a refresh here. Let's look for... Okay. So we have here one. So let's try to have battle for this one. Okay. So I'm going to use this lineup. I was able to use this already. And um, let's do a, a off tank formation i'm not sure i'm gonna win with this one but let us try this out so far the level for my team is at 200 but again um in terms of the ranking or the stars i'm not sure if they will hold up so so far so far so good i like this lineup because this can withstand the ultimate of zerola as you can see there, um, little little scratch. Um, the level 200 actually helps. So as you can see there, still surviving. Pretty much, pretty, 
energy of Astaroth keeps on climbing back. So it increases his survivability uh, in his dragon form. So hopefully I can clear this out. I've already killed one opponent. Then that's it. I think I'm, I'm this is good. So again, Astaroth will be your tank and um, Yuna will be your off tank, definitely. She cannot do a one-on-one -on -one with any tank and preferably she's going to be off tank. So that is it, guys. So as you've seen, um, very impressive run and uh, I hope you found this informative and thank you, guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is the Warden and I'm out of here.